<laughs> well, a lot of times in football, the quarterback seems to get a lot of the attention, right? Well, what, what about the guys who protect him on the field? How about the big beef up front? The beef. This weekend, we'll get a look at a few of the best college football linemen in the nation. Sure will. It's the Outland Trophy Awards. Welcome, Bob Mancuso Jr. Good to yes. see you, Bob. Hey, good to see you, Mike Kelly. Here, yes. here it is. That's the actual trophy. This is the Outland so Awards. Cool. The Outland Trophy that... Yeah, we're excited to give out this year. It's Ed Oliver from Houston uh -huh. and the actual banquet's Wednesday. So it's a week from today, Wednesday, January 10th. And it's a couple day event, but uh, some stuff happens on Tuesday. But actual, a lot of the key things are on Wednesday and then the banquet's Wednesday evening. Yeah, look at this thing. We were just talking about this mold for this. This mold, this, this actual design has been around since the late 80s, right? Right, right. late 80s, around 1989 was the first one actual presented. And a guy named Jim Ridlon, who is from Syracuse, and he was a great player in his own right at Syracuse University. He's going to hold that white up so you can That's see the actual idea, outline yes. of the trophy. And he played with Jim Brown. He was an artist and he had about an eight-year NFL career. He actually played with Tom Osborne mm -hmm. at one time when they were both with the 49ers. But he then is an artist and he actually designed this mold and we brought him back two years ago for the Tom Osborne Legacy Award for all that he contributed to football and to, and to developing help? the mold. Do you need some help? Need no, what is this thing? It's this? probably about 30 pounds, yeah, 35 it's heavy, pounds. Right? It's, it's heavy. Yeah. It's a heavy trophy. It is, it's a workout. Uh -huh. It is. <laughs> well, break down the award for us. Uh, who gets it and who received it this year? Right. So the Football Writers Association of America, we work with them, and they actually select a lot of different awards throughout the season You know, for college football. The um, All-Americans, they have their Football Writers Association All-Americans, mm -hmm. and we in Omaha, we have the Omaha World Herald, mm -hmm. so Tom Chattel, Lee Barkfeld, they're members of the Football Writers Association of America, as are many writers across the nation that help select the awards. So this award, the Allen Trophy, is selected by the Football Writers, and this year, Ed Oliver from the University of Houston won. Mm -hmm. So here, he'll be coming here, to Omaha. This is him right here. Right, this is him at uh, the ESPN Award Show when he was announced the winner from the three finalists. Yeah, and it goes to the best interior alignment, so it's offense or defense. Right, offense or defense. This is the first year in a few years where we've had a defensive player win mm -hmm. it. So he's a defensive lineman, nose guard or like a tackle. He's only a sophomore. Wow, yeah. So he's the good. thing that was surprising, he was up against a couple of players that were seniors mm -hmm. and um, the, the, even the semifinalists, a lot of seniors are typically in for a lot of awards anyway, mm -hmm. right? So him to win it, he had a great career. He was an All-American last year, second team on... Mm -hmm. A lot of different uh, awards last year, so this year that he won it, they're just, uh, and it's University of Houston's first award, so mm -hmm. they're of course really excited and okay. excited. glad so to come So what up. is the selection process like, and why was Ed picked? So they, um, they kind of do it like a lot of different awards. There starts off with a watch list, mm -hmm. and there's usually 75 to about, around 75, 50 to 75 players on a typical watch list, like for the Outland Trophy or even the Bolitnikoff Award, a lot of different college football awards, and then they break it down to the, eventually to the top 25. And then in Omaha, we actually announced live in November at the old mattress factory, the final six or seven. And we, this year we announced the final six. And then a few days later, they announced the final three. Mm -hmm. And then at the ESPN Awards show, which was when in early December, they actually select the winner. Yeah. And well, so that's how Ed was. Let's do this so again, this Mike. That was smart <laughs> of you. Just so you can see So this, this guy. award, um, it'll be this actual trophy is going to be presented to yes. him. Yes. And there's also some Husker Senior Awards that are going to be presented. Um, who, who, who got these awards? Can right. You, so there's always, <clears throat> there's always a Nebraska flavor at the Outland Awards Banquet. So we're really excited. You know, this year there's a lot of excitement with Nebraska. Mm -hmm. We've got Coach Frost coming back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to Nebraska to lead Nebraska. You gonna so get him to the award show? He's well, been invited, but um, he has a couple awards that he has to go to too because he's won the National Coach of the Year. He won true, five yeah. National Coach of the Year awards. So, but Barrett Rude, we know is coming. A couple other Nebraska coaches for sure will be there, and then to honor their top senior awards. So that's every year the top senior Nebraska awards are presented, and this year. You can see on this program right here, Guy Chamberlain Award, the Cletus Fisher Native, Native Son Award, right. and the Tom Novak Trophy. Right. So this year, the guy Chamberlain, that was won by Drew Brown. So Drew Brown just had a tremendous year. The kicker, um, senior kicker, kicker. And he's had a great career. Uh, Chris Weber's winning the Novak Award, and that's for a, a player that's undergone a lot of adversity and mm -hmm. courage. And then the Cletus Fisher is the Native Son Award. So Luke McNitt is won that award. So those three will be presented their awards at Nebraska. They're all excited, and they'll be at the banquet um, on Wednesday night. Of course, that Outland Award uh, going to Ed Oliver. Uh, plus the Husker Senior Awards. Can people get tickets to this? Can you still come to this? They can still get tickets. So you can get tables, tickets, and other information's all out on our website. So they can check that out for details. And should be a great evening. If you like college football, 
um, this is a place to be, you know, and we have the Tom Osborne Legacy Award. Yeah. That's why, that's yeah. what I was going to bring up, that, that too. Right, so we're really it's excited. fourth annual? Fourth annual, mm -hmm. Tom Osborne will be there and uh, present it. This year, it's to Bobby Bowden. So we'll have the legendary Florida State coach coming, and uh, I think it'll be great to have him in Omaha. You know, mm -hmm. from our old days when Nebraska used to play Miami yeah. and Florida State and plus a lot. he's a character. You know, oh, I'm sure a... he's going to have a great speech prepared. Right. And I talked to you, I was exchanging emails with you. Hey, let's get Bobby Bowden on the show. I don't think he flies in in time for us to get him on the show, though. But it'd be great to get him on here. But if you can get tickets to the banquet and hear him talk, it'd be, it'd right. be well worth it. Oh, yeah, he's tremendous. So he'll be there, and we're looking forward to have both those legendary coaches at the banquet. And that Outland Trophy Award Dinner Banquet is Wednesday, January 10th at the Downtown Doubletree Hotel. Give them a call at 402 346 80 03 for tickets or showofficeonline.com. And this is just so Oops heavy, I want Kelly to hold Kelly, hold that. Joe. I know, it's, but I have a bad wrist, but I'll do <laughs> it. Bad wrist. Oh, no, no, well, whoa, easy. You guys now. don't trust me? <laughs> no, not really. Actually, give oh. this back. Bob, you take this. I had a steady grab on that. <laughs> that thing's like, that's heavy. Be careful. Okay, well, fine. Never again. <laughs> just joking. Bob, <laughs> yeah. well, thanks a lot, buddy. Hey, thank you guys. Happy thank New you. Year. Yeah, you too. Happy New Year. Guess of the morning blend starts.